The year 2021 is almost finished and it's right about the time to summarize it. But before we do that, we need to highlight some things that happened in the desktop Linux world in the last several weeks. First on our list is Zorin OS 16 Lite, which came out at the beginning of December 2021. It's called Lite because it's based on the lightweight XFCE desktop environment. Zorin OS 16 Lite is actually a slimmed down version of the full GNOME shell based Zorin OS 16 release. But still, at first glance, it's hard to tell them apart, because Zorin OS 16 Lite offers a full desktop experience similar to Zorin's main release. Some of its notable features include refreshed theme, Flathab app platform enabled out of the box, window thumbnails in the taskbar, performance tweaks and general spit and polish. In 2021, Zorin OS has come out as a viable alternative to proprietary operating systems, and Zorin OS 16 Lite has already been described as the best XFCE implementation so far. You can find out more about all the new features in Zorin OS 16 Lite by visiting their website. Next on our list is Linux Mint. The Linux Mint team released the beta version of their latest Linux Mint 20.3 version. Still in beta, but Linux Mint 20.3 works perfectly, and once again it proves that the Linux Mint team has been making step-by-step -step improvements to their operating system. This time around, the Linux Mint team has incorporated new features and visual improvements into Linux Mint 20.3. Some of the new features include a new app called Thingy, which is basically a document manager. It gives you quick access to your favorite and recently opened documents and keeps track of your reading progress. On the visual improvements front, Linux Mint 20.3 features an updated look and feel with larger title bar buttons, rounded corners, a cleaner theme and support for dark mode. The Linux Mint team says that the star of the show is the calendar applet. It features multi-calendar events. Events you create in your calendars appear in your applet. Again, all the new features you can find on their website. Another recent addition is Elementary OS 6.1, which has been available since December 20th, 2021. The Elementary OS team says the latest version of the operating system takes the same foundation as OS 6 Odin and elevates it to a new level of polish. Among other things, in this already polished GNU slash Linux distribution, Elementary OS 6.1 features an improved App Center. This time around, after criticism from certain YouTubers that the Elementary App Center is confusing for newcomers, App additions help improve their discoverability. Changes include redesigned payment dialog. The Elementary OS team also says that the most obvious update to their window manager is the redesigned quick window switcher, which is a direct result of lots of user feedback and testing. Now Elementary OS 6.1 is shipping a new, simpler window switcher that's less intrusive to users' workflow. They also refreshed the interaction design of dialogues in Elementary OS. In Elementary OS 6.1, the dark style preference is now more widely respected across desktops. And of course, that's not all. All the new features are presented in the official Elementary OS 6.1 announcement. The 
The next GNU slash Linux distribution that came out with a new release is Manjaro. On December 22nd, 2021, the Manjaro team released Konos, Manjaro 21.2 edition. According to the Manjaro team, this release features major improvements to their Calamaris installer, including file system selection for automatic partitioning. Among other things, Manjaro 21.2, in its GNOME desktop environment version, provided the Manjaro legacy layout, which mimics the previous GNOME defaults. It's designed for users that preferred the old vertical desktop layout. The Plasma Edition comes with the latest Plasma 5.23 series. They also say that making Plasma fully functional under Wayland is a priority for the KDE community. Wayland will enable users to do much more on the desktop, improve performance, increase stability and new features such as those required by devices with touchscreens. With their XFCE edition, support for fractional scaling was added to the display dialog, along with highlighting the preferred mode of a display with an asterisk and adding aspect ratios next to resolutions. To find out more about the new edition, you should visit Manjaro's official news site. All in all, 2021 has proved to be a very successful year for Linux desktop in our opinion. The Linux desktops attracted much attention during the year and we can only hope that trend will continue in 2022. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.